in my previous video you learned about asexual reproduction and their types today we are going to learn about fission first you should know the definition for fission it is the division of the parent body into two or more identical daughter individuals four types of fission are seen in animals they are binary fission multiple fission sporulation and strobulation so what is the definition for fission it is the division of parent body into two or more identical daughter individuals four types of fission are seen in animals they are binary fission multiple fission strobulation and sporulation first we are going to learn about binary fission in binary fission the parent organism divides into two halves and each half forms a daughter individual in binary fission the parent organism divides into two halves and each half forms a daughter individual in binary fission karyokinesis and cytokinesis takes place so what is karyokinesis it is the division of nucleus cytokinesis it is the division of cytoplasm so in binary fission the parent body divided into two halves each half have the capacity to develop into a new individual karyokinesis and cytokinesis takes place karyokinesis is the division of nucleus and cytoplasm division is called the cytokinesis depending on the plane of division binary fission is divided into four types they are simple irregular binary fission transverse binary fission longitudinal binary fission and oblique binary fission first we are going to learn about simple irregular binary fission so this type of binary fission is seen in irregular shaped organisms where the plane of division is hard to observe so simple irregular binary fission you can see in organism where they don't have a definite body shape example amoeba so here you know already we learned in binary fission uh, during the division of the body of the organism two steps involved they are karyokinesis and cytokinesis so here in simple irregular binary fission first the nucleus divides then the cell constricts in the middle so the cytoplasm can divide and forms two daughter cells so first the division of nucleus takes place it is the karyokinesis followed by the cytokinesis that is the division of cytoplasm for that the body of the organism forms a small constrictions finally the constrictions grow inwards inwards and finally the body of the organism gets separated into two halves that is the division of cytoplasm takes place what is the division of cytoplasm it is the cytokinesis so in simple irregular binary fission it is seen in irregular shaped organisms where the plane of division is hard to observe example amoeba where the division of nucleus takes place first followed by the division of cytoplasm that is first is the karyokinesis second is the cytokinesis second type of binary fission is the transverse binary fission here the plane of division runs along the transverse axis of the individual so in transverse binary fission the plane of division runs along the transverse axis of the individual simply you can remember the elongated body shaped bodied organisms where their body is elongated and a cross section is formed in their body a cross section is formed in their body again the division of nucleus and cytoplasm finally the body is divided into two so in transverse binary fission you should remember a cross takes place in the elongated bodied organisms so in transverse binary fission the plane of the division runs along the transverse axis of the individual example 
paramecium and planaria third type of binary fission is the longitudinal binary fission here the nucleus and the cytoplasm divides in the longitudinal axis of the organism so in longitudinal binary fission the division of nucleus and cytoplasm takes place in the longitudinal axis of the organism here i, will, I have given you the example for longitudinal binary fission is euglena the fourth type of binary fission is the oblique binary fission here the plane of division is oblique what is oblique binary fission here the plane of division is oblique that is they are neither parallel nor at right angles so what is oblique binary fission the plane of division is oblique that is they are neither parallel nor at right angles example ceratium so in this video we learned about fission their types on among the type of fission is the binary fission so binary fission again divided into four types they are simple irregular binary fission transverse binary fission longitudinal binary fission and oblique binary fission simple irregular binary fission you can see in irregular shaped organisms transverse binary fission where the plane of division runs along the transverse axis of the individual in longitudinal binary fission the nucleus and the cytoplasm divides in the longitudinal axis of the organism the fourth one is the oblique binary fission the plane of division is oblique